Let's do Logitech just for the simple fact that uh, Gio Bezos has, has asked for it about 17 times. Jeff Bezos? And, yeah, he's in here with us. So, yeah, Logic. Oh, yeah. And uh, our friend Miri, Mira uh, uh, Miguel is yeah. asking for Logitech as well. So let's look hey, at. Hey, Miguel, did you get my message on Patreon? Let's look at Logitech, baby. Let's do so it. So these guys make mice and all that other stuff. They're based in Switzerland. Awesome. Good for them. $16 billion company. 24, 25 PE, X. Profit margin, about 18, 19%. That's pretty good. Check mark. It's over 10%. That's the point. And dividend, oh, we have our cute little dividend. What is it? 0.86%. 0.86. How adorable. Oh, so cute. It's about $150 million. Let's look at revenue growth, baby. Did you hear what I said about how much the dividend was? Yeah, 0.86. How much was it in dollars? Up? Oh, I didn't hear it. I ignored 150 you. $150 million in dividends. 150 mil. Thank you. Uh, pillar number three is revenue growth. $2 billion to $3 billion. Check mark. 50% yeah. increase. I want to look if it's acquisition related because look in the past years. People are saying, struggling. obviously, the big work from home push is getting uh, webcams and stuff. People but this are... number is before, is it right, right, right in the middle of um, COVID? COVID. So it was still up in revenue with that. Okay. How about a profit? And stores were shut down then. How about profit growth, baby? Profit growth, 120 million to 450 million. Wow. Check mark. Good Lord. And we saw in the last year, it was like 600 million. Shares outstanding. Pillar number five. We want this number going down. It is Paul. not going. This is by a record day of number of shares. Um, It's an X, not by much, one or two percent, but it's still it's still increasing. That's very, that's um weird here. Current assets greater than current liabilities, baby. Balance sheet. Current assets are 2.1 billion. Current liabilities, 1.2 billion. Total liabilities, 1.4. Check, 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 check. They have more cash on hand than total liabilities. That's why I like foreign companies. They're smart about their debt. Free cash flow growth, which is pillar number seven. Let's see what the free cash flow growth has been. I've always wanted to look at Ikea. Is it publicly traded? No. I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. Free cash flow. 130. So 390. Wow. Check mark. 257, uh, 220, er, 326, and 270. The average free cash flow over the past five years is 275. Boy, this is low. Am I missing something? Is this quarterly? No, it's not. Even at 20 times, you're at $5.5 billion. Market cap is 16 bill. Yeah, we got a problem. Houston. Huge problem. Huge problem. Huge. Huge problem. Guys, this is, uh, what was their PE? 25. So even the PE isn't in, in line with the, the free cash flow. Yeah, I'm not touching this right now. Boy, look at it back here in March. No touchy? Yeah, I mean, it's just, what was their um, free cash flow average? It's 275. And their dividend alone was 180, no, it was 150, 150 billion, million. $150 billion. So uh, I don't know. It's a tough one for me. I mean, I'd look at this in terms of like watch it go down, but don't pay attention to PE on this one because it looks like the free cash flow. I mean, the current free cash flow of 275, what's, six, what's 17 billion divided by 0.275? So four, four times, 70 times free cash flow? No, 61, 62. 61, 61 times free cash flow? That's too high. Too high for you. Yeah, I mean, the company's not growing a ton. It's not like it's like, oh my God, it's growing by 50% a year, pay 60 times, it's not. The free cash flow is not growing by 50% a year. So that's where we stand right there.